Citizens speak out. Calls for freedom, democracy, dignity, and human rights continue to be heard across the globe by people in countries such as Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Belarus, Egypt, Libya, Mauritania, Palestine, Spain, Syria, Tunisia, and Yemen. On Wednesday, May 18th, thousands of Spanish youths, workers, and the unemployed defied a ban on pre-election protests to gather for the fourth consecutive day of demonstrations in Madrid's Puerta del Sol Square over the nation's high unemployment, calling for people to boycott voting for either of the two leading parties. Azerbaijani democracy activist Bakhtiar Hajiev, who co-created a Facebook page organizing activists, was sentenced to two years in jail for refusing military service. Saying that the ruling was motivated by the government's wish to repress political advocacy, his brother pledged an appeal. In Egypt, the Muslim Brotherhood's recently formed Freedom and Justice Political Party has appointed Coptic Christian intellectual Rafiq Habib as vice president, while also announcing that the party's 8,800 members include 1,000 women and 93 other Coptic Christians. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and European yeah. Union Foreign Policy Stop Chief Catherine Ashton jointly called for Belarus to immediately and unconditionally any, uh, release all political prisoners, while expressing alarm over the government's crackdown on minority party members and protesters. The UN's top official for humanitarian affairs, Valerie Amos, concluded a four-day trip to Palestine and Israel with a call for Israeli officials to end their policy of evicting Palestinians and destroying their homes to build Israeli settlements. She also urged for an end to the blockade of Gaza and its stifling effect on education and economic activity. The Bahraini government continued its violent crackdown of peaceful pro-democracy protesters by conducting raids in New Waidrat village. Journalists of the country's minority party newspaper pled not guilty to charges that they had falsified news about the actions of security forces, as Amnesty International expressed alarm at the trials and prison terms for people engaging in the legitimate right to express their opinions and call for change. The US-based Human Rights Watch released a report documenting the severe treatment of Bahraini citizens at the hands of the government, as it urged US President Barack Obama and other officials to speak out against the human rights violations. In Libya, four journalists from the UK, US and Spain were freed on Wednesday after several weeks of detainment by the Libyan military. US reporters Ms. Claire Gillis and Mr. James Foley, British journalist Mr. Nigel Chandler and Spanish photographer Mr. Manu Brabo were reported to be in good condition upon their release. The UN, meanwhile, raised to 408 million US dollars the amount of requested humanitarian funds to aid some two million citizens affected by the conflict, including those displaced in other countries. In Syria, at the border town of Tal Kalak, eight more people have been killed trying to escape to Lebanon, bringing the death toll to as many as 35. On Wednesday, the U.S. government announced sanctions to be imposed on Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and six senior officials for human rights abuses, while Switzerland joined the European Union in placing sanctions on travel and finances of 13 Syrian officials. As we sorrow for the loss of fellow human lives, we continue to pray for the day that conflicts end in all countries so that citizens everywhere may choose to lead free, dignified and peaceful lives.